Garland Animal Control put down a pit bull that had been a well-known animal in the neighborhood. Residents say they complained about that dog multiple times in the past, and over the weekend, it attacked a 10-year-old boy. Fox News' Lynn Ann Wynn spoke to that boy and his father. She's live from Garland. Clarice, that 10-year-old boy was taking a cook children's on Saturday after that attack with multiple bites all over his upper body. The owners turned the pit bull over to animal control, and the dog was euthanized for rabies testing. Despite multiple calls, neighbors say not enough was done. They believe that this could have been prevented. It bit me right here. 10-year-old Joel Boyer has scratches and bites all over his body and staples on the back of his head. There are 11 staples in his upper hairline, upper neck. Joel was playing in this back alley with his twin sister while their dad was working inside the house when the dog came out from under the fence and straight for them. His sister ran to a nearby dumpster to get away. She jumped and, and lay down all, as far as she could. But he didn't make it that far. Joel says the dog went straight for him, tackling him to the ground. Well, the dog was like biting me, swinging my head on my neck. I was thinking that I was like gonna um, like die or something, but I was very, very scared when that happened. The 10 year old says he got free and started kicking the dog before the owner intervened, calling the dog back to the house. But neighbors say this problem was a long time coming. They'd called animal control multiple times before, complaining the dog was behaving aggressively and once running loose. And it, I kid you not, it took four leaps for him to get over here. And I mean, he charged the fence hard. Garland Animal Control says they responded to complaints about the same pit bull five times since last November and cited the owners for failing to register the dog. They also gave them a 30-day deadline to put up a six-foot fence to replace this chain-link fence, a neighbor photographed before Saturday's attack. Each time we went out there, we never observed the dog running at large, so there's, there's no option for enforcement unless our officers actually observe a violation. City officials say they did what they could according to the policies in place. You know, we, we work more, at, at least one bite a day, 350 to 400 bites a year. Um, it would be nice to be able to prevent all of those, but we simply can't. But for this family, that answer is not enough. There's proof right here that they did not do enough. That is an unacceptable answer. And the boy's family tells me that they do want to pursue a lawsuit against the city and also the dog's owner. They also want to pursue charges. Uh, and they said that animal control um, or animal control officials rather tell us that they did not cite the dog owners in this incident. But Garland police are investigating so far, though, no charges filed. Clarice. Hopefully, Joel will have a good recovery. Lynn Ann, thank you so much from Garland.